Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Big Apple Hockey. It is great to have you guys here. Um, sorry about last night that I didn't do the post-game show, as I promised. Uh, it was midnight, and I was way too drunk. Uh, I will be doing it, however, on Thursday. More on that in a little bit. I, of course, am Mark Williams, your host. And I am joined by the analytical eye that we need right now, Mr. Anthony Larocco. I got to I got to give it to you, you know, Ranger fans, you, you haven't seen the playoffs in five years and, and you're welcome back with a three overtime game. Uh, I, if I were you guys, I would have been pulling my hair out. I, I would have wanted no part of that. <laughs> I would have wanted and... a nice, easy, no overtime game, a nice, you know, win, never in doubt. But um, that's the beauty about playoff hockey. Pretty much. And it's and it's always like that. It's it's got to be something that drives us all crazy. And uh I got a poll going on right now. Um, just should the Heedle goal have counted, or had, should it have been should it have been disallowed? Is what the poll is going on with. We're going to oh, get we, answers we, to that in a minute. We know what Mark Messier's vote on that is. Oh yeah, he said well, he actually agreed with it. He agreed with it being disallowed. Yeah, from what I hear, that's what some comments I've read on Twitter. I didn't see uh, it first hand, right. but. Well, you know, because obviously Mark Messier, who barreled over many goaltenders in his career, you know, <laughs> that's what he would he would do. All right, but we're going to break down all that that happened last night. The Rangers fell in triple overtime to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Igor Sesterkin, franchise record, 79 saves. And we're going to get more on him in a minute. Uh, the Rangers got ahead, a two-goal lead, and then Pittsburgh tied it. Goal by Jake Gensel. Actually, two goals by Jake Gensel. Both of them where he got lost behind the defense, and those were inexcusable. We're going to break those down in a second. Chris Kreider gave him a 3-2 lead before Brian Russ tied the game at 5-3. And once again, officiating. Officiating has been the story of the playoffs so far. It has been ridiculous. I said in the notes uh, last night uh, before the game that – uh, for, by the way, Anthony, first it was a blank video that I put out for 45 minutes. That was awesome. Uh, that was a technical glitch. But um, uh, Daryl Sutter said there's there was about six penalties per game right now. And, you know, you can't get into a parade to the penalty box with the Pittsburgh Penguins because that's something that they want. They kill the penalty. And even with the Rangers having the ninth best penalty killing in the league, you, you can't be doing that. Yeah. No, you can't. I mean, no. it is, <laughs> uh, I don't know, say, like, you, you know, the Tampa Bay Lightning found that out against the Maple Leafs. They, they they took too many penalties and the Maple Leafs hurt them. So even though it's the playoffs, the referees are, you know, still going to call them if they, if they see a blatant one. So um, not putting the whistles away yet. Well, before we even get to any of the comments and guys keep them coming because Wow, just uh, – I'm just in absolute disbelief. Uh, there is a yes. We do have a yes now for the uh, the poll so far. Somebody did say yes. So good thing we're at least being a little bit neutral. We're going to be breaking that down in a moment. But if you looked at it like a fight card, uh, get, the first period was all Rangers. Everything was Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. And Casey DeSmith, all to his credit, that should have been a 3 nothing uh, game. But then the second period, the Penguins outshot the Rangers. I think it was 23-6. to six. Uh, yeah. I had it on my notes. I should actually have remembered that real quick. But yeah, there was something like, oh, 23-8. There we go. As, as much as I could say for all the positives, uh, the two goals that were allowed by the Rangers, th it was ridiculous. Uh, listen... Um, at, at the end of the day, uh, I know we're going to talk about what transpired and you could say that, you know, it was, a, it was the turning point of the game, but there were other issues that we'll get into of why the Rangers lost this hockey game. Um, yes. And getting, you know, really outshot the way they were in the second, uh, is definitely one of those contributing factors. Well, the goal that I'm looking for specifically is the Gensel goal, the second one. Where yeah, it's a I mean, two on two, you just let Gensel go right by you, yeah. Ryan Lindgren. It, they and... were focused. They were focused on Crosby. Gave him too much respect, rightfully so. Um, and you know, with Crosby, 
he could fit a pass, you know, through a, a pin size hole. Um, and he did his job and he got the puck to Gensel. And like I said to you before, um, Gensel is a pure goal scorer. He had 40 goals this year. It's, that's a guy, if you give him the time and space, more than not, he's going to bury it. And that's what he did. And on top of that, we, as I said before, we played the game. You got guys going in on two on two. You stick one on one. You don't focus. If you're the left guy, you're not focusing on the right guy. And that's why as forwards, what do we usually do? We crisscross because yeah. we want them to get, yeah. um, we want them to get confused. How he just went straight by him. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's, no, that's, that's like a safety in football. Just kind of sitting there and go, yeah, don't worry. That wide receiver going by me. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, but third period comes around. Let, let's get to it right now. Third period comes around and we're going to break down the moment that changed the entire game. This, the go ahead goal. And there's Kako moving on in collides. I mean, first of all, good job by him getting the puck back to the front. Philip yeah. scores. So there's that. Now the reason why this sounds off also, because that way I can actually have this clip on here. So now let's go to here. So here's Kako going on in. That's where the contact happens, and that's where he's knocked down. And Dumoulin actually is the one that really takes out De Smith. Here's yeah. the, the real angle. Right there is where the contact was. That already yes. shoves him forward. And then all the chaos happens. There's the goal. One last angle right here. This is the one where I say that might have been goalie interference. Yeah, no, I that's where I say it might have been. Yeah. But again, it's it's he's leaning I think he's leaning back and he's shoved forward a little bit. That changes his momentum. His skates are turned sideways, so he's trying to turn away. Yeah. But and you think it should have been a goal. Yes. I I said it. I said it on my Twitter account. Um I feel your pain, Ranger fans. Uh in 2019 in, in round two, game one against the Hurricanes, Anders Lee was pushed into Peter Mrazek. Um, and it was pretty obvious and blatant he was pushed, uh, and it was no goal. Uh, that was a bad call, and last night was another bad call. Um, you know, you did get, you did get robbed there. Um, and as I told Mark, really the only, the only thing I could possibly think of of why they decided to wave it off and say no goal um, was because it wasn't a situation of where Dumoulin extended his arms and like kind of, you know, obviously and blatantly pushed, shoved Kako into the Smith. Um, he kind of just, you know, because he had his hands wrapped around trying to, you know, I guess, I don't know, what, prevent Kako from getting a shot off. But mm -hmm. he leaned forward like with his shoulder and kind of like hit him like that. So the only thing I can think of is the league probably felt the way in which he hit Kako wasn't enough force to send Kako into the Smith in the way he did. Um, that's, that's, that's all I got. Uh, otherwise, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. That, that's the only reasonable conclusive piece of evidence of what I, what I thought maybe they could have seen to disallow that goal. But otherwise um, they, you know, they they got it wrong. They made the wrong call. It's really really all there is to say. Yeah, and it's it it, it remarkably changed the game because obviously then the Rangers literally had to go out and play a second game in order yeah. to d yeah. decide who who wins yeah. this game. Um, and it's 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 just that could have been. That could have been just the first of many moments in what could be a great run. Who knows now? Now, by the way, it shows this, this, it, let's not walk around like it's they lost game seven. So fans, obviously, yeah, I mean, you know, as much I, as I'm I, trying to use the word pundit, there's still the Rangers stuff behind me. Before the before the series started, I was 95 percent sure the Rangers are going to win. And truthfully, I'm still 90 percent sure they're going to win the series. But however, if they go down 2-0. Then it's in a situation where I, I honestly think it becomes 50-50 despite the Penguins being up 2-0. I, that's how much mm -hmm. confidence I still have in the Rangers winning a series. But with that said, you don't want to go down 2-0 because then you're putting yourself in a situation where, I mean, you're leaving yourself very, very little room for margin there. I mean, even if you win and make it 2-1, Pittsburgh comes back and wins 
and they're up 3-1. Then you have to win three in a row. So it's just a really bad situation. I, I almost think if they were to go drop tomorrow, they they absolutely have to take both in Pittsburgh. Yeah, you have yeah. to. Um, uh, but, and – and I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna drop tomorrow. So no, I, I don't. Biggest. I don't think so either. But if they did, then that would be they would be in some trouble there. But again, you can't have referees deciding the games that way. Like the Truba yeah. boarding call was a little bit questionable. Like the way that Daryl Sutter said it the other night, uh, yesterday afternoon. There was a lot of penalties you needed the replay to see. There you go. Yeah. You know what? I get it. It's, you know, when you feel like you get robbed like that, it's, you know, it's difficult to, because you, you feel like you really should have won the game. And I, and I feel you. Um, however, like I said to you before we won the air as well, um, you guys couldn't score on Louis Domingue. He's Pittsburgh's third string goaltender. And I don't know if you saw the interview, I guess, after the game. I mean, the guy was talking about how, like, in between overtime periods, he had spicy pork and broccoli. I mean, this guy did not yeah. expect to play to play in the game. And, again, he's their third-string goalie. So, I, I know you guys got robbed, but at the end of the day, you have to – I mean, you have to be able to score a goal on Louis Domingue. Uh, you, you really do. Uh, so, 100% right on that, and I think that's where you have to – you have to just say – if you don't, if you're not doing X, then really it it it, it wastes everything. Igor Sisterkin, 79, 79 saves for a record. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and, no, he was he was fantastic, and and he was great. I I do kind of look at the game a little bit and think both teams played really well. Um, yeah. Pittsburgh did what they wanted to do. The Rangers kind of did what they wanted to do. Uh, Ryan Strom had a chance in overtime oh, yeah. to end it. That's another one. Yeah, he screwed you guys big time. I mean that that. That should have been a goal, no doubt about yeah. it. But there's a couple different times where I got up throughout the game thinking uh, they, they got it right here. Uh, like uh, I think it was the first period that Adam Fox made a great play, fed the slot, and Vetrano shot it, and uh, DeSmith made the save. But his positioning was, was on. And, uh, again, if it comes down to Casey DeSmith uh, – Outplaying Igor Sesterkin, the Rangers have other problems. Well, so, yeah. uh, but again, I think I, I also I said it in the preview. Tristan Jari outplayed uh, Igor Sesterkin once. This is sort of like flexing a muscle. You can flex a muscle, mm, but you can't do it forever. Eventually, you gotta like let loose. And another thing War is, we'll find its own level. Casey the Smith, I think uh, they said after the game, he's he's day to day with like a lower. A lower body injury, so Louis Domingue might because Jarry's already ruled out for game two, so Louis Domingue mm -hmm. might be the game two starter. So, yeah, so that's, and, a, goal, that's Mike, a golden opportunity right there. As Mike says, Stromer has problem with empty nets, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, oh. like just you got to be kidding me. And so, but I did have a lot of positives to take away from that game. Uh, I'm just gonna rattle off some of these for you right now. Uh, I thought the lot the kid line was very strong. Yep. Uh, the Rangers power play, uh, the range the, as far as the first power play goal goes, Pittsburgh's going to try to press the power play. The Rangers had to move the puck quickly. Fox ended up getting the goal because of that. Uh, the fourth liner is take the fourth line's taking no prisoners. I I heard Tyler again. We we said this before. Tyler Mott when he gets back, it, hopefully when he, when he gets back, if he comes back in time for the series, yeah, he, he'd be that's going to greatly improve that front that line. Yeah. Um, I thought, did you see the lingering hit on, yeah. uh, Ricardo Kell? Yeah. So what'd I, you think? Um, I mean, I, at first I thought, cause I know originally they called, they, they called it a five and then they reviewed it and knocked it down to a two. Um, you know, so I, I thought it was a five at first as well, but then when I saw the replay, I'm like, eh, I, th I, I think it was a good hit that Raquel just got caught with his head down a little bit. Um, it mm -hmm. may have, have been a little borderline, but I otherwise, I mean, I really didn't see too much of an issue with it. Uh, take a team to stats at three. Yeah. Uh, you know, okay. So I actually thought it was kind of even a clean hit at one point. I mean, you want to give them two. Yeah, no, I, 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 could, I could see the two. I, I, on, I on, the, the two. On, on the further opinion on it. Yeah. Uh, I also said, don't get in the power play game. Uh, the Rangers were smothered. Their download coverage was awful. Uh, 
And again, just the fans chanting, these refs suck. And then over time, they, they, both teams just said, nope, they're locking it down. And uh, it was it was just a rough 